Brandon McGill. I go by BJ. I'm from the DC area in America and I play basketball for University of East London. I started at a young age. I was probably about four years old because I had an older brother who was about six at the time and my dad just let me play on his team so I started real young. I had my undergrad at St. Vincent College in media concentration and communications. Um, played basketball there as well. It was a nice area in Pittsburgh, and I enjoyed it a lot. It's been an easy transition, as London is, some Europeans like to call it the America of, I guess, the East, maybe. Um, and obviously, it's, there's no language barrier. The accent, I'm getting used to, and they're getting used to mine, I guess. But um, East London has definitely helped a lot. Um, living on campus has made it very easy for me. I travel maybe 100 meters from class and the practice back to my dorm room, so it's been nice. I'm studying sports management, so it's um, the background of sponsorships, marketing, and managing the overall sport in general. Um, obviously, my focus would be basketball, but we learn in all the sports. My day doesn't start until about 12 every day. Um, I get up, I usually check the scores of the night before, um, stay up late, kind of watching the NBA games just so I can at least stay in tune with what's going on back home. Uh, study practice, train, and eat a lot of food, basically. <laughs> I'm very self-motivated, so it's just, um, I motivate myself, really, because I just want to be successful in life, and obviously, you know, you have to put in hard work to do that, so that's where the dedication and motivation comes from. These guys don't do what they gotta do. We are on so side. Best competition yeah, of the year. Yeah. Well, apart from the first, the first quarter, I'm saying it was quite neck and neck, but after that, you built up quite a decent lead. Yeah, up. I think everybody got comfortable. The crowd was rowdy. Yeah. Uh, we settled in, we built the game, we started playing together. We started opening up, opening up the lead. In particular, what does it mean for you? Oh, it's great. Um, all the hard work pays off. Um, I led the team. I just wanted to bring them together in the final game. We just had to bring our A game one last time, but it means the world to me. It comes out and get the reward. This will work very hard for this, especially these guys, they are a uni student and so much other uni around. I believe these guys are so intelligent to achieve what they need to achieve. I say to them and any other child, if you can do it in classroom, you can do it on the court. You can do it anywhere. Well, comparing this to other like other issues you had, how would you compare it, UEL services to others? Um, I would definitely rank it above the states, uh, the services I had, um, just for the fact that they're flexible here. So with the time, like today, I just came up from lecture, so five minutes after lecture, I'm up getting a massage. So they, it's not really that 
Um, the transition isn't really that common in the States, but um, definitely I would rank it much higher. Because basically looking at it as a scholarship athlete, uh, Matt just wants to take care of our body because he knows we have to be able to perform in order to get good results for the university. It's brand new. Um, it's a year old to date almost exactly. It's a $21 million facility, a 21 million pound facility. Um, so yeah, everything is brand new. Facilities are nice. It's just a great place to be really.